Risk assets are seeing a rebound today on Friday, and we're speaking with E.B. Tucker, director of Metalla Royalty, about what to do during a crisis. E.B., welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. And, and I, know, I know you want to talk about gold first, but I want everyone to know that we're going to, we're going to after we talk about gold, we're going to talk about something very, very exciting that I think people yeah. aren't going to want to miss. You know, we, we've got a new company, and we were going to get to that after the important, after we cover the headlines. Carbon. Spoiler alert. Carbon. But yeah, that's all the that's all the details I'm going to provide for now. Okay, the crisis I was referring yeah. to earlier is, of course, the conflict in Eastern Europe that we're seeing unfolding as we speak right now. Huge drop in equities over the last couple of weeks. Today, we're seeing a rebound. Stocks are rebounding. Gold is down. Cryptos are rebounding. What's going on? Are, are people feeling a little bit more confident about the situation? Well, this is a complicated scenario. I mean, I have friends in Ukraine. I've been there many times. I'm, I'm, I'm concerned for them. It's, it's very, it's very difficult right now. So I'm, I'm sure there's other people in that boat as well. Yeah. But I, I think people need to look at what's really, what's happening here. Get yourself out of the, the problem is you look at your phone all the time, headline, 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 you're confused. You, it's like playing dizzy bat. You have no idea what's going on. I mean, notice by the way, there's no virus headlines right now. That's all. That's all done. You know, we're on to something else. So basically what's happening is the NASDAQ is in bad shape. I mean, look at a chart going back last year. This, the NASDAQ has rolled over. OK, forget about what happened yesterday. You had a huge move during the day yesterday. People are very upset with their brokers. What happened? I thought tech stocks always go up. You told me the metaverse was going to be my retirement. And this thing keeps going down. OK, so so the Nasdaq's rolling over. It's in a bear market. We need to be aware of that. Okay. So maybe it does something on a Friday. It goes up. Okay. But what's the big picture? The big picture is if you have too much in tech, you better watch out. All right. Switch to something that has had a tough, you know, commodity has been in a bear market for over 10 years and they're doing great. Oil's hundred dollars. Soybeans are a huge, huge move in beans, grain, go to the grocery store. Have you filled up your gas? Uh, you might not have a car because you're a very, hip uh, uh, urban guy, but people that have cars know that it's very expensive to fill up your, your car with gas. So prices are rising. That's what you want to play and not the day-to-day the -day swings in the tech stocks. Okay. But, but uh, let's going back to the overall uh, investing landscape right now. Are you at all concerned about bombs going off in, in Eastern Europe from an investor's perspective? I'm not talking about from a humanitarian well, perspective. Well, mortar, mortar going fire... On. Yeah, mortar fire rarely uh, coincides with a bull market. So I mean, I, th I think you, you know you you've got to say, wait a second. I mean, this is not Goldilocks. You know, this is going to go on for a while. I, by the way, I expect this weekend to get very nasty. Uh, my friends in Kiev tell me that the tanks are rolling in the, the Ukrainian side. There's going to be a big defense. There's going to be a battle there. I mean, this is this is, this stuff is not good. It's spring. Spring means that it's going to it could go on a little longer as the weather gets better. The, the, the Eastern Europeans never fight in November because you, you got to go months, right? So, so this is a tense time. Now, look, what do you do in a tense time? Look at gold. Gold's had a $100 move in the last day. Okay, if you look at the futures market, 100%, 100% of the year's supply of gold changed hands in the futures market this week. And it was only a four-day week. So people say, well, how does that happen? Well, you can buy gold for $60 an ounce in the futures market. Now, you don't yeah. actually get the gold, but you can buy it and sell it in the futures market. And that's where all this is happening. So the gold price is under assault. The volume is very, very high. So my prediction is uh -huh. this gold market is volatile. Once this is done, you go back over 2000. So now's the time. I mean, you've been waiting for the time. This is the time. When you say now, when this is done, what, what are you referring to? What's going to be done, E.B.? What is, what is the world going to so, look like after this is done, quote unquote, done? I think, there's going to be, I think there's going to be a recognition that you need to say, what's behind these assets that I'm buying? Where is all my money? I mean, I think that's what people are saying in the crypto market. I mean, a pancake coin with a billion seven market cap, that's crazy. I think people are saying, what do I actually own? I got these tech stocks keep going down. They look over at gold. It went to 1975 overnight. As, as the tanks rolled in, it got smashed down a hundred bucks, like we were saying, with huge volume in the futures market. To me, that means you're ready to go. They flushed everyone out. You're ready to go higher. And people say, nobody has any wealth. You got pancake coin, you got tech stocks, okay? You got uh, 
a, a gigantic mortgage. You, you know, you're, you're trying to pay double the MSRP price for watches. It's crazy. This is a time where things get very, very shaky. Okay. Costs are going up like crazy. Everybody's fighting it. This is a time where you want to really ask yourself, what do I want to own if the mortars keep flying? That, I don't That's think people question. have done that in a long time. They well, have that, not done that in a long time. So and I've, I've done that. I mean, I'm doing quite well. I mean, people, are, people are upset. And I'm thinking, what are you so upset about? I mean, you know, it's, if you're positioned, you're in pretty good shape. That, that's a good question. Well, I guess it, it depends on how, 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 how long this war could be protracted and who gets involved and whatnot. But just to take a look at the, uh, the uh, conflicts that the U.S. has been involved with over the last 20 to 25 years, you've got the conflict in the Middle East. After the invasion of Iraq, which is 2003, what started in 2003, the, the, the equity markets continue rising until we had 2008. And then after that, it recovered again in the longest bull rally, the second longest bull rally in American history. Actually, I think it is the longest now, if you, if you count today. But anyway, uh, all that to say is during a prolonged conflict, we could still have risk assets rallying. And by the way, gold didn't do very well during that, during that time period between 20, uh, 2012 and 2018. Uh, so going back to your question, what do you think is the best uh, play right now when mortars are flying? Because clearly equities could do well, just depending on the sector, right? Well, exactly. I mean, unfortunately, you have to speculate because interest rates are going to keep going down. The Fed's never going to raise rates. I told you that a few months ago and, and yeah. you, you questioned me on it. They're not going to raise rates. It's not going to happen. I mean, it, 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 you see now, well, with this conflict going on, can we really raise rates? We I mean, can see this in the press. The rates are not going up. Okay. They're going to go negative. So your inflation's nine or 10%. Your interest rates are negative. I mean, people do not understand that they're losing that 10% every year. So if you have a hundred grand in the bank, Two years from now, it only buys you 80 grand worth of stuff. Okay, you are getting poorer. You are, you are going down, not up. So, so people cannot understand this. So you've got to find a way to speculate. And that doesn't mean to buy the craziest stock you've ever heard of. My way to speculate is to buy you know, 30 years of carbon credits that are going to be produced out of the best projects in the world. I think the okay. price of that is going up like crazy. So Let's talk about you can that. do that with... with Copper and nickel, you could do that with gold and silver. And all these things are ways to pull tomorrow into today. And, and, and if people see that, it gives you this humongous ability to leap over the current conflict. Because headlines, 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 they're going to confuse you. And at the end of it, you're going to realize, wait a minute, I got fleeced. Somebody should help me, but nobody's going to help you. What does uh, what do carbon credits have to do with the war? I'm, I'm just I'm linking this back. Well, to I'll tell you. Okay, here. so look, so look, you you have headlines, headlines, mortars are flying, all these things, and yeah. this is what you got to do. This is like imagine we just came out of every day with the virus. Grocery store, you get the virus. You can, don't touch handrails. Use your shirt to open the door. Put on three masks. I mean, okay, now you stop all that. And now you go into this. So if you stay with these headlines, you get very confused. You're in the middle of a gigantic energy transition, okay? By 2030, most companies, most countries will have to be net zero. That means if they cannot reduce the amount of carbon they produce to zero, okay, they will have to buy the right in the public markets to emit the rest of that carbon, okay? That means take a company like a, a giant bottling company for soda or something. So you can only get the carbon down so low, right? You change to electric vehicles, you put solar on the roof, you do all these things. Well, you'd have to kill all the workers to get the carbon to zero because it, it, you're going to produce some carbon. So you have to go out into the market and you have to find someone that's planted trees or planted grass or done something. And you have to say, hey, you saved all this carbon. Let me buy the right to pollute from you. OK, that's what's happening now. That's from here to 2030. This is a gigantic worldwide push that's creating an entirely new market. It's an energy transition that has is, is been done by decree by the major countries of the world. So I get a lot of nasty emails from people. Have you turned into a hippie? What is wrong with you? Okay. So, and I say, yes, I, I have decided to become a hippie, but the reality is you've got to check at the door your previous notions because this is very, very real, you are, right? It's like I, saying, oh, electric, if electric vehicles aren't real, believe me, they're very real. There's going to be a lot more of them. And if you drive a gas guzzler, you are in trouble because over the next decade, it's going to be harder and harder to keep that vehicle because the push is on. So you got to get involved. Listen, That's I, what I, people. 
I've known you for a long, I've I've known you for a long time, EB. I think you are the last thing from a hippie I I have met. <laughs> so if you're investing in something, it's probably because you're seeing some some sort of business potential, not because of ideological reasons. So let's talk about well, the business. If I, if I show up at Denver Gold this year with a with a with a ponytail, <laughs> then you'll know that really I've lost my mind. But okay, so look, so so carbon offsets are how the world is going to become net yeah. zero. That's what's going to happen. And and if you once that's a you terrible, see that, that's a terrible future. I don't want to have to pay an extra tax just because I'm flying to Europe for a trip, or if I'm buying a cup cup of coffee that came from Guatemala. That sounds like a terrible way to live, EB. I don't want to be a part of that. It future. is, but go into any coffee shop and yeah. ask the barista. Okay, ask the barista with the with the nose ring and the and the two masks on. Okay, ask the barista. Is carbon bad? And they say. Yes, it's warming the planet and it's going to kill us all. So my point is, doesn't matter what you want. The societal buy-in is there and you will be taxed on that because the government will say, if you buy this product, you pay Wait, a tax because that, it's high carbon. Is that part of my uh, already, uh, is that going to be baked into my federal and I guess state tax or is that going to be an additional tax on top of that? Okay. What so why do, we have, why do we have tax to begin with? We have tax to control people. That's why we have tax. We have tax because that's why you have loopholes. You lower a tax over here. You say, hey, you move over to this province, your tax will be lower. You move over here, your tax will be higher. We incentivize behavior with taxes, okay? That's the reason why we have taxes. That's why they exist. It's very hard to control people if there's no tax. If zero, you had no tax in the United States until you know, 100 years ago, and then they put the tax in. First, it was only at the top, and it got worse and worse and worse. You'll be taxed on carbon so we can control you. If you buy a product from this country, higher tax. If you buy a product from this country, no carbon tax. Do you see how this goes? So this is going to be Whoa. a way to control society how's and the, push it in the direction the that it wants how's to the go. Gov how's the government going to know how much carbon uh, I've consumed or even emitted this year based on my based on my lifestyle? How's that going to be even it, tracked? It, already, already, it's impossible to transact with cash. Go to the bank, try to get $10,000 out. You can't do it. You have to use a credit card. Okay. All the credit card data is, is, is available to, to the feds. By the way, I heard some people at dinner last night telling me, my friend's wife, that she's very upset that Venmo will be sending her a 1099 if she received more than $600 this year. And I said, guess what? They're going to track every single dollar in existence by the end of the decade, okay? So it's gonna be very easy to track your consumption patterns, how you live, how many houses do you have? David, you have several houses, several vehicles, you're a very successful man. You, you're gonna have a huge carbon footprint, and we know about all that no, stuff. No, 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 okay? hold on, all my this cars is, are Teslas, all my trend. cars are Teslas, and, I, and I, all, my houses, all my houses are on a farm somewhere, I have uh, solar panels, okay? okay. Let's, let, let's clarify. So you're very virtuous, so maybe you'll get a credit. So. The point is, this is where it's going. And if you want to make money in the market, you got to invest where it's going, okay? Once it's there, too late. Forget about it. The big dogs will be in there. Blackstone will own okay. all the credits, and you're done, okay? you got to see this before it happens. That is the key to making money. I, I'm still struggling to see how that's beneficial for investors. Let's, let's talk about the investment I'll implication you, of this. I'll tell you. This Think is a about scary it. scenario. We, we yeah. talked to... We talked about this five years ago with Metalla at 80 cents. People missed out. It went to 1350. We talked about this with the electric vehicle boom. We started Nova at 25 cents. Anybody could have invested. All you had to do was send the company an email. They would have put you on the list. Stock went to $6. I'm saying each time something comes out like this, okay, we put something together to play it. We have a formula. The formula works. Carbon neutral royalty is going to do exactly the same thing. And I think it's going to be bigger than both of the other companies combined. In fact, I think it's going to be bigger even than my partners think it's going to be. And that's already gigantic. And, it, and this is coming. It's coming now. And I'm telling you, EB is playing it in the way that he knows how. And people can participate. And it's going to be big. And David, you don't want to get involved in some Vancouver promotional paper company that's going to look like a ski slope. So you're going to try to get in. You're going to miss out. You're going to end up in the in the dumpster. Okay. You want to play this for real because five years from now, everybody's going to know how the carbon offset market works. You still haven't told us what what this company is. Can you can you share that information? Uh, yeah, sure. So 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 you'll see carbonneutralltv.com. I know it's hard for people to understand. You could go to my LinkedIn. I'll post a a a, a, a link to the page. Okay. What we've done is we've partnered around the world. 
with carbon project developers that are doing things like planting mangroves, reestablishing seagrass around places like the UK. These are these are things that in the in the environment pull carbon out of the air and capture them and hold them for many, many years. And then once these projects are verified, we get credits, we get a royalty, we get a percentage of the credits that are generated from these projects for years and years, and we can sell that on the market. Exactly what we do with gold and silver, exactly what we do with nickel and copper, except this time we're not mining, we're not getting a percentage of the gold mine, we're getting a percentage of the carbon that's pulled out of the air. And what I'm telling you is, is that the governments of the world Forget about your opinion about it. The governments of the world are saying, this is what you will do. This is how you will offset carbon. This market is going to be real. It's going to have federal support. And this is how you'll behave. And if you see that, you want to play it with royalties. So Carbon Neutral Royalty Corp, carbonneutralltd.com is the way to do it. Now, next week, David, you're going to see a press release almost every day from this company detailing all the projects that we've done. And then you're going to see a capital raise that's going to be the pre-IPO capital raise. And people should follow this because it's going to be really, really big. Okay. Explain how the revenue model works for your company. Sure. So what you do is, let's just say you're going to take 50,000 hectares of of land that needs to be rehabilitated. uh, That's that's coastal land. Mangroves were there. Mangroves need to be put back, whatever the case may be. So what you're going to do is you're going to say, if we develop this, it's going to cost, developer comes to us, it's going to cost 50 million bucks. And we say, hey, we'll pay for that. Okay. Just like when you, just like a streaming company pays for a mine to be built. We'll pay for that and we'll lock in X percent of the carbon credits you generate forever at a fixed price. And the carbon price is going up like crazy, unlike the gold price. The price of trading a carbon credit is going up drastically. A few Google searches, you can find this very easily on your own. There's plenty of data out there. And so we lock in decades of those credits coming in at today's price. And we're able to then sell them on the market. It's exactly what a stream does. You know, silver, everyone knows what Silver Wheaton does. Everyone knows what Franco mm-hmm. Nevada and Metalla does and Nova Royalty. It's the same business. And you see how we've been able to take what we do well and overlay it onto this gigantic growth market. If people can see that, I think it's gonna open your eyes and you're gonna see things very differently. I, I, think, I think it's a good business model, but I think the assumption here is that uh, everybody from businesses to consumers will continue to emit carbon in the same way that they have been over the last 30 years. What if there's a technological transition but to a carbon there neutral? There will be, there will be, you're, yeah. you're exactly correct. The carbon offset market I don't think will exist forever and ever. The carbon offset market is a bridge to net zero, okay? There will be a time in the future where it's not acceptable to turn on the coal power plant and then just buy some credits from someone that's being ecologically responsible and to take those two together, okay? You see this in Europe. Europe started this many, many years ago and it's working because they said, hey, uh, coal power plant, you wanna keep running the coal power plant? You can offset that. But slowly over time, yeah. you have to change that behavior. So that's what that is going to happen. But you're thinking now, so far down the road, that you're going to miss the opportunity to sure. play this. Okay, just I get so it. You know. I get it. Okay, that makes sense. All right, I'm going to link this back to the consumer in the in the because uh, I, I can't. I, I hate taxes. Okay, I think most people hate taxes. I'm going to close it on carbon credit taxes, and we'll, and we'll we'll end the discussion there. How can the so this is coming right? The, the carbon taxes are coming. It's coming for all of us. What can we do about it? You can make a lot of money <laughs> by, by, play, by playing this. And, you, and that way, when you write a humongous tax check, it'll hurt just a little bit less. Okay? I'm being serious. We are in a, we are in a time now where capitalism is over. Okay? In capitalism, capital has value. Capital is capitalism. Okay? Capital today has no value. In fact, it's a liability. You have a hundred grand in the bank and 10% inflation and the bank's paying you half a percent interest. You're losing nine and a half percent per year. Okay. So capitalism is done. You now have to see where this ship is headed. Okay. And invest ahead of it. That's the game. That's the game that wins. That's the game that you have to play. Storing up a big pile of dollars 
or whatever currency you want. And then thinking, well, now I'm rich because I have, you know, a million dollars saved up or something. And now I can live comfortably. Forget about it. Five years from now, you're going to be considered poor. This is how things are going. So you've got to see these trends, invest ahead of these trends. That's it. You've got to get involved. You've got to get involved. You cannot, you cannot sit with your money being with a babysitter at Merrill Lynch or somewhere with someone that reads the Wall Street Journal and plays golf all day, has no idea what's going on and buys you the NASDAQ ETF, and that's all they do. You can't do it. You're going to get left behind. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a new era. This is not the 1980s. It's not, it's, 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 there's no interest rate for you. You're not going to get any compensation for saved up capital. You have to speculate which is dangerous. And you have to, you have to really pay attention to how you speculate. I, my book, my, my book, why gold, why now, which, which by the way, lays all this out. It's not just about gold. It lays the entire thing out, explains to you in easy to read detail that we're not in capitalism. Okay. We have a perpetual boom with the occasional, very short car wreck. Okay. Trash straight back up. That's not a recession. You're not going to have recessions anymore. You're going to have endless boom with the occasional panic. OK, you see, that's what's happening during COVID three weeks. The stock market lost a third of its value. Then all of a sudden overnight, boom, turn around, shot to all time highs. How can you possibly play that? You can't possibly use economic insight to play that. And so yeah. once people see that, they'll see you got to have a new game plan for, for this. Now, we, we've done it with Metalla. We've done it with Nova. People email me all the time. I missed out on Metalla at 80 cents. I missed out on 17 times. Okay. I missed out on Nova going from a quarter to $6. My advice, don't miss out on carbon neutral. Okay. It's the same founders, same style for the business, same spotting a commodity that's about to do well. Everything's the same. This is not a ski slope. Okay. You can look at all this. This is a track record. And when people see this, when they see the carbon opportunity, when they see what's happening in this market, I think their eyes are open. And they realize I can do this. This is not that hard. It's coming. Everyone around me, the baristas tell me it's coming. I can get people on a bus stop to agree that carbon is bad. This is coming and I can play it. There's a way I can play it. Mm. Well, uh, that, okay. I mean, that it pays to be virtuous, but it's also costly to be virtuous. I think that's all I'm going to say in summation to what what you've said now. Um, okay. You just have to signal that you're virtuous. That's all you got to do. You just got to, you know, just pat yourself on the back and say, look how virtuous I am. Most of the people that do that aren't very virtuous. Okay. There's nothing more fake than intentional virtuosity. Just so you know, if you really look, get I'm, all, down to I'm it, all for, I'm all for building a bridge to a carbon neutral world like i'm i'm all for helping the environment and i think you know electric vehicles and all that are more efficient anyway but, but david but paying wouldn't, the you rather, is not, wouldn't you rather own the bridge wouldn't you rather own the bridge and turn it into a toll bridge yeah than just build the bridge i don't no, want I get to be that. a I'm just, I'm just saying yeah. there must be another way for the governments to help out than taxing everybody right since when has the government helped you ever can you, you name one right. time they've helped right. I, I'm being i naive. don't know yeah. one time they've helped me yeah and, and when they try to help me i said please stop helping you've done enough just stop helping. I've got it from here. Please leave me alone. I want to. I want to end on gold. Um, just one minute. How's gold doing right now? Uh, we've well, seen a big okay. rally. We've been seeing a big rally over the last couple of weeks. Um, how do you feel? Okay. Look, I feel very good because nobody cares about gold, and when nobody cares, that means nobody's watching, and when nobody's watching. That's when things are about to get crazy. Okay. Well, I was saying to you this week that you can buy an ounce of gold in the futures market for $60, an entire year's worth of supply turned over in the futures market, which is highly unusual. Okay. None of that is real gold. It's all, it's all paper. And so when you see that, it's getting ready for a move. So there's no reason why gold can't walk back over 2000, make a new high in the coming months. The Russians have a ton of gold. The Chinese have a ton of gold. And the U.S. is the one that keeps the gold price under control. Yeah. So this is a very good setup for gold. You, you can't find any headlines about gold. No headlines about gold. You can find pages on crypto on the Bloomberg right behind me. Nothing about gold. So this is the time when you want to make your move. I like the metal because the premiums are high. You got to pay over $100 to get the U.S. Eagle. It's very, very high. I have the dealers in my book. And there's a page with all the dealers I use. They'll sell you a coin at a good price but you have to pay a big premium to get it. That tells you something. 
There's not a lot of physical gold out there circulating around. So the price is, is right to move. But I also like the royalties, as you know, Metal is really well positioned. They, they, the BMO conference is next week. It's, a, it's typically the time you want to really watch companies. You, know, you want to see what's going on because this is when things kickstart, as you know. And uh, the, the royalty business has been uh, forgotten. And I think it's the best way to play a rising gold price with MTA, with Metal. That's how I'm playing it. Excellent. All right, EB. Excellent thoughts. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. We'll speak to you next time. Thanks, David. And thank you for watching Kitco News. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm David Lin.